I'm Victoria. I know you were briefed when you accepted the contract. But it's been my experience that Citadel always seems to forget something or other. You can see we have lots of security out here at the approach and surrounding the civilian colony, but you won't be operating in there. Citadel sent you to protect the travel hub, and you'll be doing most of it by yourself. Hi guys! Thanks. There are good people here. For you, this is a job. For us, it is hope of another chance. Not everyone from Citadel remembers that. There used to be a major city here, even a university. After the Great Freeze, though, those who could leave, did. Those who couldn't, congregated at Archika 1. A wall was built to protect them, but the old travel hub was pretty useless and wasn't enclosed. Later, though, it was put to good use processing deuterium, so the dust sent people like you to protect it. Trust me, you won't get bored. Hello, newbie. Hope you don't end up as Yaga food. Victoria, you staying warm? Ha ha, very funny. Give me Shimmer Pass card, will you? It's in the glove box. Yeah, got to follow protocol. You're clear. What a surprise. You'll mainly be up against groups of bandits. Most of them are soldiers of fortune, but... I said we have good people here, and we do. But some turn deadly. These, we exile. We have families, children to protect. Most exiles don't survive, but a few join the bandits. My point is, you can't hesitate, or you'll be dead. Misha mentioned your other concern, Yagas. In the early days, food was scarce. Thousands starved to death. Many survivors were so hungry, they consumed the dead. See those red icicles? Mutated algae in the ice due to a misguided attempt to stop global warming. Something similar turned the Yagas from people desperate for food into... Well, you'll see. We call them Yagas after Baba Yaga, a famous witch in our folklore. She was ugly and powerful, and known for eating children. The bandits are after the deuterium. The Yagas, they're only after you. Shoot them on sight. You'll be doing them a favor. Look over to your left. Those two are brought in to go after the Yagas. That's the gate up ahead. And on the right, that's the transport hub. You can still see some of the old airplanes. going to Arctica 1. There it is, over on your left. We're heading for what was once the air control tower and is now the main base of Citadel operations. Like I said, you'll be providing most of the hub's main security, but the robots will be able to help. And we've got state-of-the-art equipment for you to use. By the way, this is your transport. You'll need it to get to some of the more distant places in the hub. But most of the time, we're going to move short distances in quite a different fashion.
It's always fun to see how the teleport works. Go over to the breaker switch. Now pull the lever and let's get the power going. There we go. That's better. Now back over to the elevator and we'll head upstairs. There are three levels here in the control tower. The garage, the armory, and the control center at the top. We'll stop at the armory first. Here we are. Okay. These two are the first set of weapons that Citadel has authorized for you to use. You'll get new weapons and upgrades as you fulfill your contracts. These guns load a bit differently from those you're used to. They're equipped with magnetic auto-loading capabilities. To load this one, drop your hands down to your hips, like this. Pick it up. Now, fire at the targets and get a feel for them. Remember, and you'll reload. Put that one down and I'll show you how to reload the second one. This second one auto loads when you snap the barrel to the left and back, like this. Give it a try. But I need you to holster your weapons. The holsters are magnetized. Once the weapon has been paired with them, the guns will always return there. It's very useful. Just raise your arms, bend your elbows, bringing your hands over your shoulders. Now that you've used your weapons, come on. I'll show you to the control room in your quarters. We're heading to the top of the control tower. We're protected here, on this side of the wall. You'll be taking your transport vehicle over to the hub once you're ready to get to work. We have coffee, rations, music, books. Not that you'll have a lot of downtime. Me, I work over there, and I never sleep. Your missions will be listed on this navcom. You and I will be in constant communication. Connected here, on the desk. Okay, listen up. You need to clear the bandits from the subway terminal. Keep an eye out for anything else that might be living down there, but be careful not to cross paths with the sentry robot. It's gone rogue, and I'm not sure what it will do if it sees you. Start up your navcom and get ready. I'll be at my station here, keeping this place from falling apart. 
as usual. You're there. Let's start. Remember, try to disable the robot so we can fix him. But it may be easier to just destroy it. Be on the lookout for bandits or other unwelcome visitors, too. All right, get moving. Put your weapons away in order to open the door. Use your magnetic holsters. Now, pull that lever. Look out. Bend it. Got his position! There! Shoot him! Over the ugly fucking! <laughs> Careful when you see the lady. 
lasers. isn't working, but there's a maintenance elevator up ahead. Check your wrist map for details. To open it, press the holographic button on the back of your right hand. There we go. You can use the tablet to see mission objectives, status, and your location. I'm detecting something up ahead. There's a lot of them. Stay alert. Keep moving. Head to the next door. Look for any clues to determine the code. Yagas. Now you understand what I meant. They're not really human anymore. Yagas move faster than you think. Watch out. I told you they were pretty awful. I'm picking up a lot of activity on the scanners. Probably more Yagas. There's a good chance you'll find the robot in the area, too. Yagas! Don't let them get too close to you.
retreats from its back. Great job. Just one more left. You've obviously not been here long.
up and get to the generator. We can't risk any more raiders getting into the hub. That guy has a bomb. Stop him before he blows up the generator. Not bad for your first time. I've already credited your account. I wish I had better news. I performed a remote diagnostic on the robot while you were fighting the bandits. It turns out it wasn't malfunctioning. Someone had reprogrammed it to attack any living creature. Just not Yagas or bandits. No colonist would do that. And the bandits wouldn't know how. For now, though, I want you to investigate something else. The biggest 